Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about how to run cache sales on NetSuite. To begin with, if you are using NetSuite for the menus, navigate to Transactions, Sales and enter Cache Sales. Alternatively, if you use Navigation Portlet, just click on Cache Sales. Once on the Cache Sales form, you'll need to enter the customer name. If this is not an existing customer, you can create a new customer by clicking on the plus sign here. In this scenario, we're going to use an existing customer called John Doe. The second step to cover is the classification. So you might be working in a company who requires every transaction to be classified may be set against a department, a class, or even a location. So if this is something which is required in your business, then of course you're going to have to fill these up. These can also be preset by your employee record, meaning that every time you do a transaction, you won't even have to change this. It's already going to be defaulted to your own employee record's values. Now at the bottom, you can go and look for items. Items can be selected by using barcode readers or by using manual input. For example, we provide NetSuite support, implementation services. So let's say customers right in front of us and they require a support of 50 hours. We're going to add this. And let's say that we want to give them a discount, a commitment discount of 10%. This works. Now I can save and print this cash sale. Right. If the customer is paying by check, or if the customer is paying by uh, mobile transfer or bank transfer, you can ask them to make the transfer right in front of you, and then just put the reference of the transfer here. If uh, they do the transfer, it means that you will have given them your bank details. Uh, this means that you can even uh, receive the, the money into a specific bank account. If they're paying by cash, however, I would not put any reference there but cash. So the next step would be to deposit the funds into your bank account. So let's save and print this. Now, when we print the cash sale, NetSuite provides us with a receipt. And that receipt can be printed in any kind of paper format. So A4 to very small paper formats. This is usually decided and customized for the customer at the time of implementation. So you don't have to do this yourself. Now that the cash sale has been entered, and the money is in your teller machine, the next step is to know how many of these payments are to be deposited at the bank. Right now on your reminders, which is a set of tasks that your company needs to do in order to be successful every day, you see that there is one payment to deposit. So if you click on this, it will actually give you the amount of the payment to deposit, which is 63,250. Now, which bank account are you going to be depositing this to? We'll leave it at the HSBC in rupees. You can put uh, a reference in there if you need to, or you can just click on the actual cash sale here and then click on save. And this closes the full cash sales process. Of course, now all this information uh, is available on your KPIs, your reports, your dashboards, but this is a topic for another time. I thank you for your time on this video today. I hope this made sense to you. If you've got any questions, just comment below and we'll get back to you. Thank you and goodbye.